Hey, it's a Monday. What do you mean you cannot play? There you go. All right, real quick. Hello, hello, everyone. Good Monday afternoon. I hear a lot of ding dongs out there. Well, that's from the doorbell. So, lots of ding dongs from the doorbell. Someone's at the door. All right, guys, got a lot of different fun stuff to go over with you guys. Folks who haven't signed up, well, this is the. VIP newsletter I talked to you all about, and um, yeah, I just thought uh, I'd show you some of the stuff we got coming up on it. So, real quick, I'll let a couple more people come on in. I'll set up this little phone so I can see your comments. I love it with your comments. Good morning, everyone. I uh, hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Um, I sure did. I got a new car. Troy Hudson's in the Hey, Troy, how are you? How was your weekend, buddy? Hope it was a good one, Mr. Ambassador. Real quick, got some fun stuff to talk to you guys about. One, did you know Hell Witch Sacrilegious Kickstarter starts in nine days? Nine days, Wednesday, 10-7, October 7. Wait, what? No, is it really that soon? Oh my gosh. No way, guys. It's, it's going to happen. Live preview, 10-7. Get ready. Brian is going to be previewing stuff. I'm sure you've seen all the videos. He's been popping up all over social media and on um, YouTube. But Wednesday, October 7th, 4 p.m. Um, Pacific Daylight Time and 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Brian's going to do a full reveal of Hell Witch Sacrilegious Kickstarter, so get ready. It's always a good time. You know, you guys watch us. Um, there's uh, also in the VIP newsletter, there is uh, four full color pages for you to check out. I highly recommend this VIP newsletter, guys. I talk about it every week. Those of you in the know know that there's a lot of good information on this. Also, coming up, it's our favorite holiday here. I would say... Halloween is better than Christmas, but that's just me because I'm a, I'm a dark kid and I like spooky things. So Halloween is amazing. It's October. It doesn't feel like fall out here yet, but hopefully soon. I hope it's feeling like fall where you all are at because, yeah, you don't want to be here. It's been hell. But anyways, we're going to have new exclusives for our All Hallows Evil Celebration 2020. So one of the features will be you ready? I can't wait. I put these all out of order. There's going to be Moon Witch, covered by Sun K. Lady Death All Hell is Evil, Lingerie Moon Witch Edition by Sun K. These are going to be really beautiful, guys. These are stunning. 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 Make sure you pick those out. Uh, limited copy copies um, ordered by October 12th at 5 p.m. Pacific Daylight Times. Po books will be serial numbered. So, limited to copies ordered by Monday, October 12th at 5 p.m., 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. So, basically, we're going to be running this promo through the weekend, get you guys all picked up. Oh, we got a really cool new homage, a new Lady Death Rider, guys. A new Lady Death Rider cover's coming. Also, I'm sure you guys are all excited about it, especially old school fans. Scott Lewis returns. He's going to be doing new covers for Coffin Comics. There's going to be a Lady Death one. There's going to be a La Muerta one and a Hell Witch one. Guys, Scott Lewis, we're bringing the classics back here at Coffin Comics. Check it out. Let's see. Lady Death pinups. Scott Lewis returns. There's a Lady Death version. Then there's going to be La Muerta pinups. Scott Lewis returns edition. Oh, guys, these are so cool. Um, Hell Witch pinup, Scott Lewis Returns Edition. Three new Scott Lewis covers, guys. You got to check it out. Also, this weekend, Lady Death Malevolent Decimation Hot Pink Metal Edition. 
cover by Mike DeBalfo. I can't wait to make those for you. So check it out, guys. There is so much stuff. It's Halloween. This is our Christmas. We got so much stuff coming your way. Also, there will be Prince, Gary Compton. I'm looking at you, buddy. There's going to be All Hollows Evil Celebration Prince for the Lady Death Moon Witch by Sun K. The Lingerie Moon Witch by Sun K. The new Lady Death Rider Spotlight 11 by 17. Scott Lewis Returns Prince. There will be a Lady Death. A La Muerta and Hell Witch. Guys, Scott Lewis is back. And Gary Compton, that's a... If I had counting correct, one, two, three, eight, four, five. That is six new 11 by 17, uh, 17 prints for you, buddy. I know you collect them, and I'm so happy there's going to be some new ones. So keep an eye out for those, guys. This is going to be this weekend. Check it out. Let me give you some more information. This is really cool. we got a lot of cool exclusives coming out because it's Halloween. We're Coffin Comics, and we're meant to go with Halloween hand in hand. Beautiful holiday, people. All right, there's also going to be a spotlight on Sun K coming up on Friday. Uh, Jimmy will be doing a nice little interview with Sun K. Now, here's the thing. I want to say this. The top five questions I get from you guys, I will shoot them over to Jimmy to ask Sun K. So, top five questions Put them, uh, message me at Hooligan Moraga Facebook page. Message me your questions. I will pick the top five for Jimmy to ask Sun K when we do our spotlight. Make sure you check that out, guys. Make sure you check that out. This is so cool. This is so cool. All right. So we're doing the uh, All Hallows Evil Celebration. Here's what we got going on. <clears throat> All Hallows Evil Celebration comic books are limited to copies ordered by October 12th at 5 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you're here. Spotlight on Sun K. Um, I have to say right here now, uh, I've got some prints of hers and some of the covers she's done with us that are available right now. Uh, there's some stock I am really limited on. So, Sun K, she did the La Muerta Vengeance Bang Bang cover. It's a gorgeous piece, guys. She's got these on the store. I gotta go this way. Also, she did the Hell Witch, the Forsaken Risque edition. Guys, just gotta cover all that up real quick, so I don't wanna get yelled at. I already got busted at eBay for ridiculousness. But oh well, <clears throat> on eBay. So, there's just a couple samples of the covers she has done for us. And we also have prints as well. The beautiful Fiesta, for the most recent La Muerta Retaliation. We have these available, folks. Ritual, which uh, we use for our 13th anniversary. Ace, what's up? I totally agree with you, Jay. That is a stunning, stunning cover. Look at that. So we have Sun K prints, 11 by 17. We got some covers that she's done for us uh, in the past. She is blowing up big. There's this great little thing in the VIP newsletter we wrote up about her. Um, Sun K is a Canadian comic book cover artist. She specializes in pinup, science fiction, horror, and fantasy paintings. Sun has applied her artistic skill to uh, portray popular fictional characters in her stylistic vision. She first became known uh, by her Lady Death covers for Coffin Comics, written by Brian Polito, and has since done a variety of projects for Coffin Comics, including Zack the Zombie Exter uh, Exterminator and La Muerta. She has illustrated the cover art for London May's uh, Devolution album and graced the pages of John Schofer's Ice Earth book, Wicked Worlds and Epic Tales. Her work was showcased August 27th at the Image FX magazine Exposé, which includes today's most outstanding digital artists. Uh, in between traveling from one convention to the next, she works on her graphic novel, Ormus, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, and a collection of traditional pieces of gallery expeditions. So, Sun K, we have some of her work here. She's done amazing work, guys. Beautiful work. Um, I, this, 
first time I saw this cover, I thought it was like a photograph, and they're like, no, 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 that's that's actually art. So uh, I'm very impressed with the work, and I know a lot of you are. Um, she's just getting more and more popular here at Coffin Comics, and um, we're really blessed and lucky to have such a talented artist uh, working with us. So a lot of stuff coming up this weekend. All Hollows Evil Celebration. There's going to be metal cards. There's going to be new Sun K covers. That's right. It'll be All Hollows Evil Lingerie Moon Witch Edition. So check it out. Check it out. Other things we have here in the newsletter before I show you some other fun stuff. All right. The Lady Death pop-up crypt closes this Friday. So if you guys have not... Um, picked up some last minute stuff over the pop-up crypt, go ahead and jump in there. You have until Friday to pick up what's left from the Lady Death Treacherous Infamy Kickstarter. A lot of cool stuff, guys. If you missed out, now's your chance to get those exclusive editions you were hoping to grab. What else do we have? All right. Uh, some of the stuff on the shop right now that we're showing in the VIP, again, is the um, La Muerta Fiesta print. The Empress print, which we have 11 by 17 prints of. I'm sure, uh, Gary, you will be messaging me about these, but I'm pretty sure you have almost all of these. You have the most extensive collection of prints I have seen of any um, Coffin fan. So let me know, and we'll do some digging around for you, of course, Gary. Always willing to help you guys out to help complete your collections or to help your collections grow. Um, also, I've been getting some messages from y'all on help desk at inquiries at uh, coffincomics.com. I'm really having fun um, helping you guys uh, find certain editions or get uh, a little history lesson on what we're all about. So uh, thank you for the questions. I really like helping you guys out. And um, just give me time. We're all pretty busy right here. So I'll try to get you guys' answers as fast as I can with uh, what it is you're looking for. So without further ado, I just want to... Um, say a awesome hello and greetings to a very special someone that sent me an amazing early Christmas gift. Um, Robert Bradford, thank you so very much. Um, he got me the Godzilla 60th anniversary um, Christmas ornament. Now I collect these, but I haven't been able to get any for the last seven years and I missed out on this one. So this is really cool. Let's go ahead and get it to go. <laughs> so that is just too cool so thank you very much robert this was a wonderful surprise um <laughs> i'm blown away this thing is just too cool i don't know whether to bring it home or keep it in the office but thank you very much i really love this i have the uh first edition they did for the 50th anniversary and this is the black and white version of that one so thank you so very much you uh Definitely made my day a whole little brighter. Also, some other interesting stuff I wanted to show you guys over at the uh, Coffin Comic Shop. Speaking of my favorite hero, Godzilla, we still have the Godzilla Rage Against Time number twos. These are exclusive to the Tucson Comic Con. So we have some available on the eBay store and at the Coffin Comic Shop. So go ahead and jump on in and pick it up. Um, really great art. Um, I really love the uh, Godzilla... Rage Against Time story arc, um, just showing different things, times in history where Godzilla showed up. Um, Dark Horse did a similar one where you find out he was responsible for sinking the Titanic. They actually hit him. So, fun little geeky trivia for those who wanted to know. Another really cool thing, um, if anyone's trying to get someone to all caught up with Lady Death, the Lady Death collection. Now, I'm not going to open this up because um, <laughs> it's shrink wrap. But there's volumes one through 10 of the Lady Death Premier Editions in this beautiful, very heavy store folio. And you also included all of this fun stuff. There's a button, some trading cards, magnets, stickers, uh, all the fun little uh, mini prints we can throw in there at you. All of this, $200, check it out. Um, it's on the store now, limited quantities. Um, these things are very heavy, but it's a great way for somebody who you know that might not has been caught up uh, with the new adventures of Lady Death. This is a great way to go. This is a really good starting off point because you get the first 10 out of 11 chapters we have out right now. So, good idea for Christmas. Don't fall because I know that'll hurt if it hit my toes. 
Over on eBay, a couple things. Um, there's been some changes. I'm sure some of you noticed. Um, last week, uh, eBay uh, shut us down for three days for content. Uh, even though the listings did not show anything, they just had the terminology naughty, risque. Uh, I'm sure I'm not the only uh, vendor out there at eBay that's getting bit in the butt for this. Um, but I like to keep my postings clean. I don't like to have anything foul in there for folks to see, but they have decided to make some changes. So we here at Pop and Comics are to make some changes. So got some interesting uh, things coming your way. Um, maybe some might be doing special on Wednesdays, probably starting next week. So stay tuned. Once we get all our ducks in a row, I'll make the announcements, but something a little fun for you guys. Uh, over at the eBay store, I shrunk down the inventory. So I have mostly direct market on there, tons of Nick and Dent. Um, also stock that's like, okay, here's some overflow from con stock um, that I have on the store. So there's still tons of items, over 400 items on the eBay store. Uh, items like these, the gold Lady Death 20th anniversary coin. We have the Shiva and gold. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful. A lot of folks have been scooping these up at the eBay store. And I love packing them, and I just love um, getting orders with the coins. Um, so far, uh, silver's king. Silver is outselling gold. Um, so, yeah, right now everyone's digging the silver ones. Um, but I got gold and bronze. Get them. Sounds like gold to blues. Wow, I feel like a pirate. We have a lot of stuff like that still on the store. Also... Some of the more recent uh, Nick and Dent stuff I have uploaded, which have been a lot, is Malevolent Decimation, or I mean, excuse me, Lady Death, Bless Me Anthem, Lady Satanus Edition. These are Scratch and Dents. I have a nice stock inventory of these items for you to check out. Some other items on the uh, Scratch and Dents I have also is the Bless Me Anthem Jeweled edition, and some of the editions I have are signed. So these are scratch and dent. They are sold as is, but I also put them down at some really good um, pricings. Uh, I think it's really fair, and uh, so far people are loving it. I have sold out of quite a few editions that I put up over the last two weeks. I still got a few copies of signed Blasphemy Anthem uh, Dragoness edition. I think I sent out three orders with this book already today. And these are where you'll find on eBay. Bless me at the homage edition. Got a few copies of these. And if I recall, who said that? Did I hear my name? I don't know. Who said that? Robert? Is that you, Robert? Is that you? I got to see the comments. Was that Robert? Robert, Robert, Robert. Uh, it doesn't show up on the one. <laughs> Did I hear my name? Who said that? Wasn't me. Okay. Ace. <laughs> Man, you guys are, are a hoot. I love reading your comments, guys. You guys keep me in stitches. I also uploaded some Blasphemy Anthem hardcover editions. These are totally about, you know, about half of what they normally are. I say these are... Decent copies are good reader copies, um, especially if you uh, don't want to damage your favorite book to let someone read, then hey, get some scratch and dents and read away. Also have the Blasphemy Anthem soft covers, premier edition. Beautiful cover by Diego Bernard. It's got the nice, beautiful gold foiling. I also still have some Scorched Earth homage editions. I think this is one of our coolest homages right there. Captain America number one. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I also have about one or two left of the Scorched Earth number one standard comic shop editions. These I tend to sell for $2 a piece. If I have any Nick and Dents left or Scratch and Dents, they'll only run you $2 a piece. So good reader copies. Still a couple copies of the Score Strip number one Boudoir edition. Boudoir. I am not French. I'm sure it sounds like it. Um, oh, wait. I'm a quarter French. Um, 
These are also on the scratch and dent section of the eBay store and they will run you $2. $2, holla, holla, holla. I got stuff for you for only $2. And I also uploaded a nice little chunk of the Malevolent Decimation Black and White Premier Editions. I think I got about 10 of these on the store right now. Bob, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you are feeling better, dude. Hope you had a restful weekend. Hope you had a restful week, and I hope you're healing up good. Everyone, let's get a nice, hey, Bob. Yeah, just like Haley. Hey, ya, Bob. We, I also uploaded some Lady Death Masters, my Chrome number ones. If you recall, these are eight, ten dollars I have. <laughs> also, a couple things I uh, found in my uh, Scratch a Dent stock, and I only have two of them, and I think I got them listed for just twenty dollars. But it's the Blasphemy Anthem number one homage edition with a remark by Stephen Butler. So I have two of these right now. Get them while I got it. Each image is different and they're just amazing. It's too bad they uh, got, got damaged all the way to us. But like I say, if, if I think it's uh, worth selling it to you all, I will, um, even if it's... Uh, as long as it's at a good price, and I feel like you guys are going to be happy. Also, I have four of these. These are really cool. These are the Monty Moore cover up 25th anniversary, 25 years of cover art by Monty Moore. But all the ones I have on eBay, I have four. Each have their own unique remark by Monty Moore. I only have four of these, so once they're gone, that's it. But if you're into Monty Moore, you like his art book, and you want a nice remark, well, I got four in stock right now. Definitely check it out. Slide that in. There we go. I'm going to grab a quick drink of water and see if I can find someone to pop up on the phone with me. Jay Taylor is sailing. Haley, it's a really beautiful book. Um, like I say, I have four ones and all of the remarks are unique. Um, it's a very beautiful book, very nice hardcover, beautiful imagery inside. Let me flip through it a bit so you can salivate a little bit more there, Haley. These are really beautiful. It's amazing that I remember a lot of these covers um, from old fan magazines, uh, from way back in the day. Um, it's really cool. Um, flipping through here and remembering, oh my God, I remember that image or I remember that gaming, um, magazine or that module with the art on it. And it's really cool just to see how his, um, art has changed over the years. Um, it's beautiful. Whoops. Whoops. There's some naughty parts. Um, of course, there you go. Moonstone Comics, Night... <sighs> Excuse me. Hair up the nose. Night Stalker covers. Um, I gave away a trading card of one of those in one of our, at the uh, Crucial Cons, one of the uh, Calder ones. I slipped one of those in there. I thought that was really cool find. I thought uh, one of you all need to just get one of these as a prize, so. Fun little stuff, guys. Like I said, we have... Tons and tons of stuff. Just because eBay wants to be snobby doesn't mean I don't have cool stuff for you guys anyways. But I definitely will not be able to put up any of the naughty stuff. Or risque, for that matter. Um, but, you know what? We'll make arrangements. We'll change things around. We're going to make it amazing. Let's see who I have on camera today. Oh, thank you, Ace. Let's see. Who do we have here? What does the thing say we got? Boom. Ooh, there's J, Ace. All right. Bam, bam, bam. You know what? Let's get Jay in the house today. Calling Jay. <laughs> Calling Jay from the atmosphere of space and the social media. Oh, man, my buttons are horrible. There we go. Are we going to get it? Are we going to get it? We're gonna get 
Jay in the house? Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. Well, he's watching the Chief game. All righty. Is your team winning, Jay? Let me know. Please. I hope your team's winning. Ace. Oh, no. I can't bring Ace on. What the heck? You know what? Let's let's do an update with Bob and make sure he's doing all right. Everyone, let's, let's every, we need some Bob love today. All right. Are you watching the football game too, Bob? <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad your team's winning, Jay. Right on. Oh, I might not be working too much today. Jiminy Cricket. Well, looks like Bob might not be with us today. Okay. Anyways, well, a couple more things I want to show you guys. Um, like I say, Jimmy is doing an interview with Sun K, and I would like five questions from you guys, and I will pick the five best questions so Jimmy can go have and ask uh, Sun K on their um, little live video exclusive they're doing. So send me those questions. I really want to see them. I really know you guys got – I know you guys are just – Die into if you could ask your favorite coffee comics artist and their name just happens to be Sun K. And you're like, oh God, I would love to know an answer to this question. Send it my way. If it's one of the lucky five I pick for Jimmy to ask. There you go. Now's your opportunity. So I expect to see my Facebook messenger full of all these beautiful questions from all you beautiful people. So just a quick little recap. There's been some changes on the eBay store. I still have tons of stock on there. It's just they want us to take down uh, the naughties and the risques and what have you. So gracefully, maybe, um, I agree to that. So if they don't want that our type of uh, content on there, then they don't deserve to have the graceness of all the beautiful Coffin Comics naughty and risque editions. So... I'm going to make changes. You're going to see. So, some of the items for the Sun K we have up there. The Ritual. This was for the thir Coffin Comics 13th Anniversary Edition. You've done $5? Ace, when am I going to get that $5 from you? February? <laughs> I just bought a new car. I need to make some payment money. <laughs> Day drinking? Uh, no. No, I wish. Are you, Troy? Are you day drinking? Because that sounds amazing, actually. As soon as they get home, maybe I'll have – I'm going to have me a rum and coke there, Troy, and I'll do a toast to you. I'll send a picture on Facebook and say, cheers, Troy. Another beautiful Sun K print, 11 by 17. This is also the cover for the Fiesta. So check it out. From Muerta Retaliation, Sun K is going to be in the house with Jimmy. Some of the other beautiful Sun K stuff we have on our store. Hell Witch, the Forsaken Risque Edition. And then also La Muerta Vengeance Standard Edition. A lot of uh, her covers are selling out. So Sun K is hot, guys. She is the next big thing. <sighs> She's going to dominate the comics industry just like all coffin comic artists do. Yeah, I'm biased, but hey. I work for a great bunch of people and we have amazing artists that work with us and we have wonderful fans like you guys that just make it so much worth the while to just work, work, work our butts and our fingers to the bones for you guys. So thank you. I do have a ton of Nick and Dent stuff, scratch and dents. These are really good deals, really good deals. Uh, a lot of this stuff is like marked 50% off or below and these are on the eBay store. Oh, I see someone might want to come along. Who's this? Hey, Lou Jagger. Would you like to appear on camera? Just answer me yes, Lou. I think you're new here. Ace, you made it to Vegas last week. Did you have a good time? Did you win lots of money? <laughs> oh god you guys are a hoot 
uh, I had a fireball <laughs> last week. Um, did you mean you ate a lot of spicy chicken wings and fireball aftermath? Because I've had some of those. And, oh, boy. I love hot food. God, I hate it coming out. Other awesome scratch and dent stuff that I have loaded up on eBay. There you go. Premier Edition, Chapter 10. I believe I have these ones going for $10 for the scratch and dent copies of um, the Lady Death Premier Editions. Um, I'm also going to be loading up some Hell Witch stuff and uh, the Huerta stuff I recently have found in my Nick uh, Scratch and Dent stock. So there's going to be a lot more stuff coming up there. Really good place for some good deals. Lady Death and the Level of Decimation, black and white. I do have these. All right, Lou. Ah, oh, I like Lou. Lou, we're going to put you on the camera. Everybody. Let's give a round of applause to Lou. Is it Jaeger? If so, that's freaking awesome, Lou. You have a very cool last name. Lou, Lou, Lou. Ah. All right. I guess it didn't work for Lou. Okay. You want me to try again, Lou? Sometimes this little thing works. Lou Jaeger. That is one cool name, dude. If you want to join in, great. Oh, come on. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? Everybody, let's give a round of applause to Lou if he comes on. If I got the right buttons clicked. Yay. What's a hell witch? Oh, my God, Jay. <laughs> is this Lou? Are you there? Yes. Yay. We got it to work. <laughs> You're slightly pixelated. Thank you for joining us. Where are you joining us from? New Richmond, Wisconsin. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. I've been to Wisconsin since like 87 when I went there to visit relatives. And man, did I have a lot of cheese. They weren't kidding about the cheese out there. <laughs> I gained five pounds. <laughs> so tell us a little about yourself, man. What brings you to the show and what brings you to the interest of all things Lady Death and Copper Comics? Um, I actually was just coming online to check out what was going on and you guys were on and I figured I better watch and see what's happening. Right on, Lou. Do you know anything about us? No, I do not. This is my very All first right. time watching you guys. All right. Well, let me introduce you. Uh, we are Coffin Comics. We are a publisher out here in Mesa, Arizona. Um, we publish characters like Lady Death, La Muerta, Hell Witch. Um, as our motto goes, we make good comics for all the bad boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> we're, right we're a lot of fun. We're all about, you know, uh, metal, um, partying, really cool horror comics. You know, we're all geeks uh, that work here. Uh, I'm a big Godzilla nut. Um, Jimmy's a big horror fan um, of old classic and new horror films. So we all have a niche. We all fit in. And it's just a group of fans uh, and, and big geeks that uh, Brian Polito found us uh, and has incorporated us into this nice little publishing business we call Coffin Comics. And what we do is we show off our wares on our store and our uh, eBay store. We also have links so you can do samples of our books. Uh, the first chapter, okay. 15 pages of Lady Death Chapter 1 is right there on the link. You can click on it and get a preview of our first chapter of our uh, beginning of our publishing era. Wow. Um, so yeah, that's what we just, uh, we do really unique covers. Uh, we do jeweled editions where they have Schwatsky crystals. Um, I only say that properly when I've had shots of vodka, um, <laughs> but this is like a version <laughs> where you have nice in crystals, actual crystals inside the covers. And wow. we make really unique covers. Um, some other covers we've done, we make some really amazing um, hollow foil covers. Um, we've done, uh, I think we just recently started doing a bunch of batches of uh, metal covers. So we also are known for metal covers. And then okay. we combine the metal and jewels. So we do some really neat stuff, some very limited stuff. So any of the links there will take you to anything you want to check out at our stores or even read some of our books. So. Thank you for joining us. I'm glad uh, sure. you're a regular um, comic book uh, 
uh, shopper on the network here. Yes. Yep. Nice. Right on. Jesse, what kind of I stuff? watch Jesse a lot. Jesse's great. I've known Jesse for 12, 15 years. Really great guy. Fun guy to hang out with, too. If you get a chance really? to hang out with Jesse, hang out with Jesse. You will well, have I'm... a hell of a good time and a great history lesson about our industry. He's a really wonderful guy. Just a all around good guy to be around. So I, if you get a chance, I highly recommend hanging out with him. Yeah, I've, I've been thinking about uh, coming down to Arizona and visiting you guys. Well, wait till it gets cool. It's still summer here, can it? Yeah. <laughs> I hate to say it. I'm a native. I've lived here my whole life. Um, but man, the summers are just too bloody long for me. <laughs> just way too long. <laughs> I'm kind of over them. Uh, I, I lived in Portland for a little while, so I got to know the change of seasons, and I'm like, I miss that. Um, but, you know, I got all my family here and, and all my friends. There you go. I work for this wonderful company, so why would I want to go anywhere else? Exactly. But, um, it's really nice to meet you. What kind of stuff do you like reading and collecting, by the way? I'm a big Marvel fan. Uh, the Marvel I'm... Zombies in the house. Right on, guys. <laughs> I love. Us, we do a lot of '70s Marvel homage covers for our Lady Death books. And very cool. Welcome. Yeah, we've done some pretty cool ones, like uh, the first uh, Superman Spider-Man meetup from the old Treasury editions. Okay. We've done some of those. We got a new uh, late uh, Ghost Rider homage called uh, Lady Death Rider uh, okay. coming out this weekend. Um, so if you want to check us out. Um, we do lots of live sale events, and uh, if you want to know more about us, we have a newsletter that'll let you know what's up to date. We got YouTube channels, so we're always doing something. There's always something going on here, and we always Very try cool. to make the readers and the fans, uh, we try to embrace them, and we try to bring down the curtain to kind of like let them know there's no barriers between us. Um, uh, our fans are extremely loyal, and they help our brand grow. So, you know, we Very do good cool. books. And Thank you to the fans. And thank you to you for checking it out, man. I, I, I love to bring on new viewers who don't know our product and, you know, kind of introduce yep. them to stuff and let them know, hey, there's some small guys out there that are put a lot of heart and soul and blood, sweat, and tears in our book. So thank you very much for checking us out today. You're welcome. I, I'm enjoying it. Please. I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, please stick around. We're here every Monday from 4 to 5 p.m., uh, Mountain okay. Standard, Pacific Standard Time. Arizona doesn't change its time. Everyone moves around us. So it's right. really weird. But <laughs> yeah, thank you very much for allowing me to bring you on. And I hope you sure. uh, click check out the links and check us all out. You betcha. All right. You have a wonderful day. Continue watching. And I'm glad you joined us today. Thank you so very much. Everyone, let's give a shout out to Lou. Lou, 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 Lou. Thank you, Lou. <laughs> You're welcome. That's what I love about this. Um, I love meeting new people and seeing um, all these great faces from around the country. KC, oh man, oh barbecue. But you guys, you guys don't have really good Latino food, like the Northern Mexican food. It goes in really good, but hoo -hoo, it comes out not so hot. I'll tell you what, it is a birdie. Let's see what else we have. See, Haley is, wow, look at that. All these wonderful people saying hey to Lou and just, I got to say, you guys are great. Um, I really love the fans, the fiends, and the swarm. You guys are just beautiful people. And God bless it. Um, I had a rough uh, Monday morning. Um, and I just want to say just the thought that I got to be here with you guys for my last hour of the day um, really picked me up and gave me that extra uh, kick in the butt I needed. So thank you, you guys. I, I, I get a lot of my energy and I get a lot of enjoyment spending my Mondays uh, with you guys. So thank you very much. Um, some other fun stuff. Um, I still got a few Blast Me Anthem Dragon Nest signed editions. And I do have a couple unsigned. I try to keep them both there. Puerto Rican, I got you. Oh, okay. I have never tried any Puerto Rican food, man. It's the one thing I haven't tried yet. I would very much like to try it. So um, please tell me you're coming to Sworn Fest because that's happening in February. My gosh, that's coming up right around the corner, folks. Can you believe it? I can't wait. I'm going to meet all you beautiful people. Sworn Fest. 
We still got tickets. I also got uh, some copies right here of the Lady Satanas edition for Blasphemy Anthem. So they'll run about what, 10 bucks a piece. I believe I have them at $10. So definitely check those out. Over at the Coffee Comic Shop, if you're looking for someone who really wants to take a big dive into all the great adventures of Lady Death, this is a great place to start. Chapters 1 through 10 in one box set. And we give you all these cool little trading cards. We've got magnets in there, buttons, stickers, mini prints, all of this. One great value. We have them available as sets as signed and unsigned. So if you want your book signed, we have a whole set of signed ones. So definitely um, let us know by clicking on the link to shop at the Jiminy Cricket. I got the hiccup so bad today. I apologize. I must sound like a broken record. There's nothing wrong with your internet. I have the hiccups. Thank you very much. So we do have signed and unsigned editions of the Lady Death collection set. $200. Click on the link at the Coffee Comic Shop. Make the selection. And we have lots more to choose from. Remember Friday, we're going to be having uh, lots of exclusives for Halloween coming up. So can't wait for you guys to check those out. Brian's got a lot in store for you guys, so get ready. Still have Blast Me Anthem homage editions. These are Scratch and Dent. This will run you about $10 on the eBay store. If I have any left, they do go quickly, very quickly. Score Sheriff number one, Boudoir edition. I have Scratch and Dent copies. This retails for $4.99 on the store. I do have Scratch and Dent copies for $2. Sis, my Arizona friends were saying that you're coming down in February. Oh, you talked to eight? Dude, yes, I believe Haley might be coming down. I know uh, she's pretty excited. I know we're all excited. Just to think that all the fiends in the swarm from around the world, around the world, Australia, New Zealand, France, England, Mexico, Canada, all over the world, all over the United States, they're all coming February to Swarm Fest in Mesa, Arizona. Click on the link and get your tickets, guys. It's going to be a hoot. It's going to be fun. You got it. Let me give me one quick second. Get those off. Give me one quick second. There, I will take care of that real quick. Hold on, I'll be right back, folks. Just need to take a little restroom break, sorry. Oh, I'll take God to the restroom right across the hall. Woo! Drink too much water today. Keep hydrated, people. Keep hydrated. Just don't get too hydrated and then, you know, you got to run the restroom. <laughs> uh, dude, the statues, Ace, you saw. Let, oh, God, let me see if they're still on display. Let me show you guys some of the stuff uh, in case you missed out on some of the Crucial Con stuff about a week ago. These are going to be on an upcoming Kickstarter, guys. Stunning. Beautiful. Now, these prototypes uh, I had to put together over a year ago. I believe it was for um, FiendFest. Uh, not knowing or when these were going to be offered. So here we are uh, over CrucialCon last weekend. We announced 
uh, this set. We're going to be doing a Kickstarter on this. Um, we're definitely still working out. <laughs> Aren't they? These are really beautiful. And just look at the detailing on these bases. I mean, this is just really stunning. Look at those platform shoes, man. Yeah. This is a real beautiful piece. And not only that, I really like with the texture of the paint. It looks like real cloth. When I was building this, I thought it was a cloth cape at first. As you can see, got to definitely be gentle with them because these are the prototypes. So after a while, we'll probably have to take them all apart and then ship them out. I don't want to be that person. I was nervous enough just to put these together. <laughs> but look at the detailing. Look at the craftsmanship. Look at all the texture. Troy, I'm not surprised. Yeah, Richard, Mother Love and Ortiz. Miguel, how are you? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> look at the red on this. It is just, it's like liquid fire. That thing's just... So, I'm just going to say, this is one sexy paint job. This is one sexy figure. Look at this. So, uh, I know. <laughs> Bob, you are totally right. Those are Haley shoes. These are stunning. And I know some of you collectors, some, uh, I've seen some guys who have statues where they have the uh, rotating displays. Oh, these would look beautiful on them or a nice beautiful like hutch casing with some mirrored back just look at this this is some beautiful work guys and the bases each base just has its own unique quality and beauty to it it's just a stunning work so these are going to be in an upcoming kickstarter keep your eyes and ears open we will totally these are going to be nuts i don't know how brian's going to pull this off because everybody either wants one of a kind or everyone wants all three. So it's going to be interesting to see how that uh, Kickstarter works out. Uh, I'm excited and I'm sure you guys are excited, but they're coming. They're coming. Don't know yet, Miguel. Don't know. They're still working all that stuff out. But once I know and we all know, we'll let you know. Miguel, how are you and your son doing, by the way? How's the family doing? I hope everyone's well. <laughs> yes, the price is your soul. We will take that in a full payment, or we will take your first boner for misbehaving, too. We don't mind. We, we, there's a lot of work that needs to be done in our warehouse, so Brandy would appreciate the helps. And with the little children, they can crawl under places that we can't reach. So, All right. Let's go back into the war room where we're doing the show. So, guys, those statues, we uh, showed them off over at Crucial Con last weekend. Um, we're always going to be doing these fun little online shows so everything gets back to normal. Can't wait because then I get to hang out with all you people. It's always fun. Got 12 minutes left. I want to bring on another guest. You know what, Miguel, do you mind if I uh, bring you on the show today? They're free, dude, dude. Yeah, you try walking out of those. <laughs> yes, your firstborn can be 23 uh, if they're misbehaving and um, you want to order something, yes. Bye, Haley. Have a wonderful day. Uh, see you next week. Um, hope you had a wonderful weekend. It's always a pleasure to have you on the show, Haley. Thank you so very much. Everyone say a nice swarm farewell to Haley. Swarm for him! Swarm! I keep talking. It's Monday. <laughs> oh, everybody, thank you very much. Everyone's so beautiful on here. I, I just got to say. Ace, everyone, you, you guys are just, it's a love fest on this show, I noticed. It's a love fest. Let's see, here we go, a couple other things. Um, I do have a couple of the homage of Lady Death, Scorched Earth. This is the Captain Death homage. This we offered about a year and a half ago. There's still some copies left. So get them while you can, because once they're gone, that's it. That's all she wrote, folks. 
We also have over at the store and at the eBay store, both locations have Godzilla Rage Against Time number two. This is the Comic Con, Tucson Comic Con exclusive. So if you are interested or know anyone who's a Godzilla fan or who's very much a Godzilla fan into variant covers, well, we got you covered right here. This is the exclusive from Tucson Comic Con. I believe that was a couple of years ago. It's another thing I want to be, be happy about is when cons get back. Cannot wait to get on with the cons because I love doing cons. Also on the eBay store, I have a few, two scratch and dents of the homage edition of Blasphemy Anthem. Stephen Butler did the homages. I only have two. The two I have are going for $20 a piece. Bingo. Bam. Also, on the eBay store only, we don't have these on the coffee store. I only have four of these. And Haley was going gaga over them. So I only have four, and each one is uh, very unique. This is the Monty Moore cover-up, 25 years of cover art. And he was really nice enough to do the four copies I have with a remark. Each remark is unique, guys. They're not all going to look like this. They're all going to look different. Just like the barf bags I used to have that I told you guys about. Those barf bags were truly amazing. But in here, just some really great artwork. Like he did some D&D &D modules, RPG books, covers, the old D20 system. Oh, man, that just about killed gaming in my store. Look at all these wonderful imagery from Monty Moore in this one book. So much stuff, magazine covers, interiors for books, role-playing books, beautiful pinup art, all this. Look at that. Fantasy. You got your Star Trek fans. Yeah, he's done art for Star Trek. I think he's done art for just about anything you can imagine in fandom. Guys, Monty Moore, one of a kind. I only have four of these. Once they're gone, that's it. Boom, boom, boom. Gone, gone, gone. And uh, if anyone is interested in these, um, let me know. Uh, message me on eBay or even here on Facebook. I'll take a picture of one of each of the um, remarks for you. So if you're like, oh, I don't want to get it blind. Uh, it's random, but, you know, I got four. I'll let you take a peek. Um, so check it out. Monty Moore, cover up, 25 years, inside remark of Lady Death. I'm hearing chiming in the background somewhere. It's creepy. It's scary. What does that mean? Still got some Blasting Anthem Jeweled Edition. These are everything I'm showing you on eBay is scratch and dent. I'm going to be adding uh, for all you old Chaos fans. I've got my hands on some Nick and Dent um, Lady Death graphic novels, Purgatory, and some Evil Ernie's. And then also... Um, just some random single issues from the chaos era said I got to go through the ones that are really bad. I will probably destroy because some of them are really bad and I really don't want to put them on eBay um, to, uh, you know, make it look trashy. I want to try to put some of the nicest stuff I can on our store for you guys to check out. Even if it's scratch and dent, I want to make sure it's the best scratch and dent covers I can get in your hands. So I still have some lady death masters by Mike Chrome. Number one, You down for a call, Miguel? All right, for the last couple of minutes, I'm going to get you on, Miguel. I haven't seen you in a while, and I miss your face. Let's see if I can get this to work. Bam. All right, Miguel, we're going to end the show with you. Got about five minutes. Let's spend that five minutes with Miguel. I'm going to stand over here. See if we go ahead. Miguel, give a shout out. I got a slight delay on my other phone here that I use about comments. So. Hey, I hear scratching the sound. Miguel's in the house. What's up, Miguel? Hanging out, man. Yeah, how was your weekend? 
It wasn't too bad. Uh, you know, today's my Sunday, so yeah, I'm kind of at the end of my weekend. Nice. Did you uh, have anything special planned yesterday, or were you just kicking it at home and enjoying the weather? No, uh, I'm. Uh, I was helping my dad uh, yesterday. I, that's what I do on weekends. I pretty much help my dad. Good. You know, Good. go up into the mountains and you know, help on his farming and everything. Oh, he has. He has uh, a farm. Yeah, he's uh, he's got an organic farm. Nice, nice. And what does he like to grow? What's his favorite? What's his best crop he does? Uh, well, he does vegetables, but he also, uh, you know, uh, grows a little green. Well, hey, you're allowed to in this state. <laughs> so that's good. So that's good. My dad uh, lived in the backwoods in uh, our, uh, Illinois, in small towns in Illinois. And you can see these old abandoned farms, like total crops and houses in the middle that were just left because they couldn't afford the uh, payments for the banks. And he would go out in these old farmhouses, and he said you'd still open the closet doors. There's still clothes sitting in there and stuff like that. He said it was kind of eerie. Um, he's like, but every so often you take a whip, and he's like, some of those farmers were growing weed in between their corn crops to keep the money coming in. So <laughs> he's uh, like, yeah. Every so often, this old farmer would get uh, arrested for growing marijuana. It's like, hey, the guy's just trying to keep his farm. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> Let farmer Ted probably... have his farm, damn it. <laughs> How long has he been farming? His whole life? And um, did you grow up on the farm with him? No, no, no. He um, he started organic farming, uh, let me think, like 12, 15 years ago. Nice. And then, uh, you know. Just recently, uh, like the last five years, he kind of got into dabbling on the other end of it. Yeah, no, it's it's a, a big business. There's actually uh, around here, there's dispensaries popping up everywhere, and it's weird to see the big ones gobble up the small ones. It's like, oh, oh, here he comes! Here comes the Walmart of uh, you know dispensaries eating up the little guy. <laughs> it's like what? So how have you been feeling? Is your leg uh, healed up fine? You all healed yeah, up in the uh, marathon? Fine. Uh, you know, um, it's still a little stiff every now and again, but now I've been walking a lot, uh, you know, completely off the cast. Uh, haven't started running, but, you know, I'll get there. No, that's good. Um, I know uh, swimming is also therapeutic for legs, too. Fucking COVID. Can't go swimming. <laughs> I think we all feel that way. <laughs> I think when it's all over, there should be the F COVID parties all over the world. <laughs> let's, yeah. let's break open the kegs and everyone worldwide crank out a toast. If you don't drink, get a water, a soda, a milk, and everyone cheers. That. It's done. F it. It's over. Because <laughs> uh, this year has been an odd year. I think, for, well, for everyone, it's been a weird year, um, but it's cool that um, with me, everyone's like, "Oh, what are your customers like?" Where are you going? It's like, no, everyone seems to be in very good spirit. Um, everyone I talk to on, on the on the you know that message me, they're just you know doing what they can do and just making best. And a lot of them are just like, "Hey, I just try to make the best I can and make the fun of it because it's life. You got to start laughing at it sometime, even during the bad times. Sometimes it." Helps to laugh a little. So uh, I think uh, I think that the the fiends and you know our little group, uh, I think they're handling a lot better than most other people. I agree. I think it's because they have each other and they support each other. Everyone's really just a people, and uh, I'm blessed that I get to work with a company with all you guys because you guys are amazing. Seriously, you guys are a heck of a fan base. I know I sound like a broken record, but it comes from the heart because it's true. You guys, you guys keep going, and I every conversation I have with Fiends and the Swarm, it's always a good time. I always have fun. That I have exactly thirty seconds. Miguel, do you want to give a shout out to right. today? Uh, Bob, man, I hope you're feeling better. Uh, I know you're fighting that pneumonia crap, so. Hope you, hope you get better, bro. Yeah, everyone send your positive thoughts and love to Bob's direction. He really isn't doing uh, too well. I know he's had pneumonia, so 
If you can, everyone give love to Bob today and throughout the week. I want a whole bunch of people giving virtual hugs to Bob. Miguel, thank you. Thank you, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. You guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next week. I'm out. Stay sworn! <laughs>